Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. It is Tuesday, the something something of August, and that's a good thing. I think it's like the 27th, and life is a loaded shotgun aimed right at my face, because if by September 5th, I don't have enough money to pay my rent, oh boy. So yeah, I'm gonna have to make a a begging video today explaining my situation and asking for the kindness of strangers it's all I can do I have been trying I've been making phone calls I mean I've talked to the VA so far I went and called up the uh, in Washington State and in many places in fact it's nationwide it, in the United States you call 211 they can get you in contact with a whole bunch of services and you know I called them up I explained my situation told them where I live and basically there have the same amount of resources as the VA does in that we can't help you from becoming homeless we can't help you from losing everything and going to the street if that's gonna happen to you that's going to happen to you but after it does, we have all these programs to help lift you back up onto your feet and get you back into society again. It, it just strikes me it would be cheaper to like and, and better for everyone involved if you stopped people from crashing and burning instead of going, now that you've crashed and burned, if you survived that, let's see if we can get you back up. It's gonna take a lot of equipment, a lot of training. We're gonna have to buy all this stuff. We're gonna have to do all these things. Isn't it easier just to stop people from crashing and burning? But I'm going to be making more phone calls and doing what I can. So, yay. But not to be depressing and awful because I don't want to be depressing and awful. Being depressing and awful is depressing and awful. I don't mean awful as in being an awful person or doing awful things. I mean just dwelling on the awful things in life. Because there are a lot of awful things in life. Oh boy, just spend five minutes thinking about what's going on in the world and you'll wish you hadn't. So let's talk about happy and friendly things. Like all of my hamsters are sleeping right now. And little dust mop over here in his cage, he has two nests. One of them is kind of his little condo on this side, underneath this little piece of cardboard that's up against the edge of the bin. And the other's in the far corner. <laughs> where when I'm moving too much over here, and my shadow is going up against the edge of the cage, and light, dark, light, dark, and movement, and he's prey. That's going to be unpleasant, depending on the hamster. And so when he really wants to sleep and I'm moving, he goes all the way to the far edge. It's darker over there because it's... <laughs> it's got that black lid on top, and he's far, far, far on the other side. So even when I'm moving, the, there's no real shade or movement, no light and dark. So he's able to sleep easier. I understand he's not rejecting me it's just a prey animal thing and that's okay now Gojira she's sleeping back in her mason jar but she doesn't let any of that bother her she had been sleeping in her mason jar last night and then was just tooling about her cage doing things being a hamster and then she came right over to this corner that's just right next to me where, I mean, I'm moving all the time with my shadow going up above, you know, like predator shadows. She didn't care. She just got into the corner. She just ate some stuff and then curled up into a tennis ball and went to sleep right next to me. She has no survival instincts at all. I mean, if she was out in the wild, she'd be gone the first day. She'd be going up to sniff and see what's going on with the first predator. Which is fine. I mean, she's in the pet animal industry. So she's not anywhere near the wild and doesn't have to worry about that. And while I do have a cat, 
and her cage is open topped, my cat knows. I mean, cats are smart. Dogs are smart. Animals are smart. But she knows which animals to get and which ones to not get. She destroys rats, shrews, other animals like that. She just kills them because she's a cat. In here, I have hamsters get loose and they run between her legs and they play with her tail and she just lets them. So she's smart, she knows. I have no worries about the health of my hamsters, whether they're open cage or closed cage with my cat. She has slept inside of hamster cages before, so I have no worries about the, the health of my hamsters. Now, mental health, freaking out about it, I can understand that. It's not a good thing if the cat's sleeping in there with them, but it's been, I was living in my grand, my grandfather's, in my brother-in-law's garage at the time, and I had some hamster cages that were still up in the dining room, and she was sleeping in those. Not all the time, just once or twice, and the hamsters didn't freak out about it, they just, it was like, oh, okay. And then they slept too, so definitely a thumbs up. But it's it's good. I mean, and my hamsters are all really in good shape. Even little Thigmo, he was, it's really surprising. It wasn't just a smell of something on my, <laughs> on my hand before. Cause I told a couple days ago how I kept trying to pick him up, but I was coming in predator wise. And when I got too close, he'd flop over and panic. But then when I brought my hand back, he wouldn't run away. He would come back. He would just stay and then eventually I remembered how I need to pick him up which is I came in with scoop and then he just let me pick him right up. Same thing last night. I washed my hands periodically throughout the day. When I opened up, well moved the thing and then reached down inside, he just let me pick him up. Oh my lord god. And I can feel that on my vocal cords too. That did not shake it loose. Hokey smokes. It's like a, a bungee cords attached to my vocal cords when it's like this. Thumbs up and I can hear it. It's affecting how I sound. Uh, maybe only to me, but I can, I can feel it and I can hear it, so yay. But I was able to just reach in with clean, freshly washed hands and pick him right up. And that's really good. I think just giving him time out underneath there and letting him feel safe and giving him a place to really run if he wants to be safe has given him the courage to be out there when he's ready for it. And so I've been able to pick him up with no issues and he was just a happy little guy in my hand. I also think it has helped him physically. I was talking about before. Oh. I was talking about before how you can tell when your hamsters are not healthy or getting old if they're getting thin. You shouldn't really be able to feel a hamster's skeletal structure. That you should feel just a line for their spine. You shouldn't feel their vertebrae. If you can feel their vertebrae, they're either really old or getting old or they're sick of something. Well, little Thigmo, I could feel some of his vertebrae. And he is the same age or younger than some of my other hamsters. And so I shouldn't have been able to. Putting him back down inside of there, I can't feel his vertebrae anymore. His spine is just a line. So putting him down there was the best thing I could have done for him. And I'm so glad that it's worked out. It's a very good thing. He is nowhere near as nervous as he used to be. And he's still plump and furry. And it's a really, really good thing. All of my hamsters are still doing well. I mean, Dr. Snurf, I got to get him against the wall only because I want to show him off again. <laughs> I even read, I spent five minutes reading an article to make sure that my vocal cords would be clear. I should have read more. I waited almost 20 minutes after doing some cannabis concentrate dabs so that I can actually do things and then was talking and got it all cleared up. I shouldn't worry about it. 
I am an organic being. I am a carbon-based life form. You know, we have mucous membranes. My body is made of water. This sort of thing is going to happen. I shouldn't worry about it too much. The thing that bugs me about it is, I'm just hoping it doesn't bother you too much. It may not bother me. <laughs> which is not true. But I don't want it to bother y'all so much that you stop watching. And I especially wanted to th thank Merrily Cachero. I'm hoping I got the name properly correct. Hokey Smokes, just right off the top of my head. After talking on Facebook and through comments, I actually got a delivery from my local Safeway. Gosh darn it. A delivery from my local Safeway with some spaghetti, spaghetti sauce, and some chicken breast. So, food! Very, very awesome. Very cool. I'm going to be eating more foods, which is good because I, you don't get a lot from the food bank and the stuff that is easily edible and edible without a lot of work. I mean, like plain rice takes a long time to cook. If it's just regular you know, non-instant rice. You gotta boil it and boil it and boil it and then you gotta do things to it so that it, it has taste. <coughs> that's a long time. And to even bake potatoes like I do, that's a half hour's work into it. So the easy to eat stuff you burn through really fast. Like all the easy to eat stuff was, I, got, I went there on Wednesday and that was all gone by Friday. So I've, I've got the not easy to eat stuff, like the rice and the beans that you have to soak for 24 hours before you can do anything with. That sort of stuff is still here and I've got that. So I'm not going to starve. I don't know how much of that I'm actually ever going to prepare. I mean the rice, eventually, yes, because I like rice. You know, like rice. It's I don't dislike rice, so I guess that means I like rice. It's good stuff that way. So I'm definitely going to save, cook, and eat that, but I don't know what to do with beans even after I soak them for 24 hours so that they become edible. So <clears throat> I, I, I don't know what to do with the beans. But the rice and stuff like that, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be eating that. And I'm going to be doing stuff for that. So that's definitely a good thing. One thing that just triggered a weird thing. I can't remember where I was reading about this. But apparently, they discovered in China, back in the BCE eras, of course, back when they were making granite, um, no, concrete. You know how there's cement is just the, the stuff. Concrete is when you add rocks and junk to cement and that makes it tougher because it's got extra junk in it. The ancient Chinese used rice with their cement. And you know what happened? That stuff is so tough. Even now, thousands of years later, a guy in a bulldozer ran into a rice concrete ancient tomb to take it down. Didn't even dent it. It gets stronger over time when you add rice into your cement. How bizarre. The chemical reactions go on making it stronger and stronger. Unfortunately, they stopped having to do that because they use so much rice to do all this work with their concrete that that caused one of the huge famines where like millions died. So that stopped after that one particular period, but life is life. <laughs> so I just like random bits of trivia, random learning, just, oh, rice is good for that. Cool. That, that's It doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. It just uses up some form of storage up there. But you know, what the hell else am I going to use it for aside from random bits of trivia? I'm going to be 57 in two months. 
I am in the almost in the middle years of my twilight age. I'm, I don't have a whole lot of active stuff ahead of me where I'm going to be big in academia or making my name in industry. So, thumbs up. And of course, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. Thumbs up each one I do. Answer as many as I can. For right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, and different. The fact is, you left me a comment. Thank you so very much. <laughs> if I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that sort of thing. And it's a range of 20 to 25, because even though I count an American sign language on the fingers of this hand, right in front of my own face, no less, I still get lost. Depression, brain damage from alcoholism, fibro fog from fibromyalgia. I'm a thousand percent better than I used to be, getting better all the time. There's going to be a functional limit I'm going to hit. I don't know when, but hey, getting better all the time. Definitely a thumbs up. So let me call out my chrome here. And we have, I've got to kick my head back so I can see through my lenses of my bifocals. That's what they are. Panji Arsono, thank you very much. Ijod Imod AJ, thank you very much. Lee Simone, thank you very, very much. And Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Samal Smith, thumbs up and thank you. Confused Owl 29, thumbs up. Brian Eno for the win. Mark Mirabella, thumbs up and thank you. And Fake Shriracha, greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up. And then we have A Lemon Pie 407, definitely a thumbs up. Sebastian Ferris. And Kenji is very, very cool. It's just that one thing irritates me so much. And I know it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But life is life. And Dominique V, thank you very, very much. Russian timing, thank you very much. <laughs> and if I ever get a <laughs> if I ever get a better video card, maybe I can keep shaders on all the time, I don't know. JXYS FN, thumbs up. And the real Berg, greatly appreciated. John Garrett, greatly appreciated. Black Cheese It, thumbs up and thank you. Joshua Griffiths, thank you very, very much. Kieran Slipknot, Iowa fan. <laughs> thumbs up and thank you for the tips. Greatly appreciated. And Mean Mr. Wolf, thumbs up and thank you. Funniest Kid, I, I rarely have any idea what's going on either. Chris Sim Player, thank you very, very much. And then we have Marilee Cachero, thank you so very, very much. I like spaghetti and chicken quite a bit. Thank you. Brady Tester, thank you very, very much. And Mist R, greatly appreciated, except I've explained many, many times why I can't do reactions at this time. And Metal Winged Wolf, thumbs up and thank you all so very much for getting me out of my head, if even for just a second or two, into the real world, dealing with other people, if only in text. It is greatly appreciated. When you are depressed, you need to get other people and other input into the echo chamber of your head so it's not just your own thoughts bouncing around. So thank you very, very much. It is appreciated. And you can check out my various links. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. I say that all the time. It sounds trite and cliche, but I mean it. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel and hit that bell, because YouTube really puts a lot of weight on that bell. That would be very cool. I would understand if you didn't want to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now to literal end of time. And not just the vlogs, but song mutilations, which I'm still working on, game let's plays, walkies. When I, I need a cable for my, I've misplaced the charging cable for my camera, my, my video camera. And I don't have a cell phone, so I, I need my video camera to record. <laughs> Oops. So... I got this video, got another video, probably a please help me video. So I got stuff and I got phone calls to make. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up.
it's 46 seconds. So have a great day and I'll, I'll see you in my other videos.